my view is, you know, and we can go into the many reasons why indications are inflation truly is transitory. So I, I am in the, I believe what Jerome Powell is saying. Uh, I find it incredible that gold went down today. So if, if it was inflationary, big outbreak, I think gold would have gone up. Um, but the more important fact is for the S&P, it was up double digits year to, you know, year to date. The VIX had brought, dropped to mid teen We were ripe for a, uh, for, for a correction. And so maybe it's uh, the CPI number that, that caused it. Okay, Andrew, let's bear in mind, I mean, let's just assume you're right and that the Fed is right on this transitory element of inflationary prices. Doesn't inflation, though, have somewhat of a self-fulfilling prophecy when it comes to expectations in the market? And if the market keeps pushing, saying, we see inflation, we think it's coming, doesn't it almost force the hand of the Fed? And then you worry about perhaps them signaling a tightening earlier than they have previously. You're dead on right. That's exactly right. But if you listen to the Fed and the board members now, they're in total agreement. We're not changing. We think it's transitory. And so this is why I don't think this little correction is going to bleed into something bigger because the number one rule of investing is don't fight the Fed. And the Fed is telling you right now they are in dovish accommodative role. But to your point, eventually, I think they're going to have to uh, begin to discuss hinting of tapering. And I think that's going to come later this summer into this fall. And that's when I think you get a, uh, a bigger correction. But for now, they're all holding tight. Uh, the consistency of all board members is unbelievable. And uh, so I think it's too soon to think we're going to have a bigger correction. I think it will come when, as you say, those self-fulfilling prophecies start to waver the resolve of the Fed.